Yesterday, we got a look at some of the American League Team Affinity bosses for Season 1, Chapter 1. Today, we got a look at some of the National League bosses for Season 1, Chapter 1 of Team Affinity. As always, if y'all enjoy the videos, maybe consider dropping a sub on the channel. We've been daily uploading for a long time. Not going to be stopping anytime soon. A lot of videos, a lot of content coming with early access starting tomorrow night. It should be a really fun weekend, a really fun, hopefully, next few weeks. I'm looking forward to it. If we keep scrolling up, though, through MLB The Show's Twitter, we can see that they've revealed some of our National League Team Affinity bosses. We can see the NL Central bosses right here. Let's take a look. A lot of y'all might know, I know it can be a bit confusing with the name Twin Gaming TV, but I am a Cardinals fan, and I'm really not sure how I'm feeling about seeing Jack Flaherty as our first team affinity boss for MLB 24 he's not even on the team anymore but the Cardinals are getting an 89 overall breakout from 2019 Jack Flaherty we see the future stars here not a future stars card it's a breakout card it's just what it said on his tops card that they're using right there Yasmani Grandal I feel like I've seen this card a lot in previous MLB The Show games, 2019 All-Star card from the Brewers, 89 overall for them, for their Team Affinity Season 1, Chapter 1 boss. I'll mention it again today, the way Team Affinity's working in MLB 24 is every season is about 12 weeks long. At the start of the season, we have the first chapter of Team Affinity. About four weeks in, we get the second chapter, which should be higher overalls. And then four weeks after that, about eight weeks into the season, we get the third chapter of Team Affinity. There's going to be three chapters of Team Affinity per season, just kind of, I guess, going along with the power creep they're doing for these 12-week-long seasons. But Cardinals, Jack Flaherty, Brewers, Yasmani Grandal. The Pirates have A.J. Burnett's 89 overall veteran series from 2013 for him. Sammy Sosa is going to be for the Cubs, 1995 All-Star Series. I'm actually interested to see what the attributes are looking like on this Sammy Sosa. He had one of my favorite swings last year. I'm excited to use him again here in MLB 24. And then Joey Votto, no longer on the Reds, now back home in Canada for the Blue Jays for the 2024 season. But he's going to be the Reds Season 1, Chapter 1 Team Affinity card, a second half card from the 2021 season. 89 overall first baseman Joey Votto and those are the NL Central season one chapter one team affinity bosses that's kind of a mouthful and then on the tweet where they revealed these NL Central bosses they said find out about the NL East and the NL West in their live content feature premiere tomorrow Thursday at 3 p.m pacific the final feature premiere of the year it looks like it's going to be covering just like we expected the live content we'll probably see stuff like the XP reward path just team affinities obviously NL East NL West maybe what the collections maybe they'll even show us the live series collections and probably just what we can expect from the live content to start the year in MLB 24 but we do have another boss that was revealed just not on Twitter for the National League when it comes to team affinity we took a look at this yesterday when we checked out the American League team affinity on this Diamond Dynasty the live content blog post they had scrolling down a little bit and we saw Brian Dozier from the twins he is their boss their team affinity card for chapter one and then for the nationals they're bringing back the takashi okazaki card art series we have vlad senior as the nationals team affinity boss for chapter one season one of team affinity and these attributes are not necessarily final they might change but this is about what we should probably expect from vlad senior 96 and 83 for his contact 78 72 for his power 83 vision 67 discipline 81 clutch 60 fielding scares me a little bit in right field also plays left and center with his 63 speed and 61 reaction i'm not sure if i'll end up using this card at all really because of the defense but he does have a really good arm especially if you're going to put him maybe in right field where the speed or the fielding doesn't matter quite as much as center field 97 arm strength but only 74 for the arm accuracy again attributes not necessarily final they might change but vlad senior is confirmed as the nationals team affinity boss for season one chapter one in mlb 24 and if we keep scrolling through mlb the show's twitter we can see that their developer tournament where they're actually playing mlb 24 the devs are playing each other that's actually going on right now while i'm recording possibly even while you're watching this video it should be pretty much all afternoon on wednesday and if you want to see some MLB 24 gameplay, you can check that out on their YouTube or their Twitch. But we're not done with this video quite yet. We don't have any more Team Affinity reveals again. NL 
East NL West coming tomorrow during that live content feature premiere. But they did talk about a couple things on Twitter for franchise mode. And not necessarily anything super big, but they did talk about some stuff for franchise mode here on their Twitter, or I guess I should say their X page. That they didn't discuss in the future premiere where they were talking about franchise so let me scroll down a little bit so we can find that and the first bit of extra new information that they gave us for franchise is that in mlb 24 multitasking is a breeze in franchise mode with the ability to control multiple teams during the amateur draft experience in franchise if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong on this i'm pretty sure the amateur draft got added maybe in last year's game and I guess I just assumed that if you were doing, because I've always known you can control multiple teams in franchise mode, you're able to select more than one when you're starting a franchise. I guess I would have assumed that you would have been able to control multiple teams last year. I feel like I've been saying that about a lot of the stuff that they've revealed this year is I'm kind of surprised that things that they've been revealing to us weren't already in the game i feel like that's been something i've been saying a lot but either way i was a little bit surprised when they said this because i just assumed it would have been in the game last year when they had the amateur draft since you are already able to control multiple teams but hey if you are somebody who's playing franchise and controlling multiple teams i'm usually only ever picking one team but you're controlling multiple teams then now you're able to do so during the amateur draft experience in franchise mode i guess that's new for mlb 24 and i'm still wishing they would just bring back online franchise man and unfortunately the other bit of franchise news that we got wasn't them bringing back online franchise i guess maybe mlb 25 they might bring it back who knows it's been gone for a long time. I'm kind of surprised they even took it out of the game in the first place when it was already a feature they had. I don't know if there was anybody that wanted them to take it out. Maybe their numbers didn't show enough people played it. I don't really know. But the next bit of information they gave us was that draft prospects now have a chance to be generated as two-way players. And that will be the show 24. And again this was something i was kind of surprised wasn't already in the game when did mlb the show have shohei otani first added was that in mlb 19 when shohei otani was first there i kind of would have assumed that it would have been added to the game back then but i guess for mlb 24 is the first year that draft prospects now have a chance to be generated as two-way players and maybe it's a little bit different because of scouting players versus draft prospects with that amateur draft i don't really know but either way like we can see i don't need to repeat it again and they kept revealing a little bit more information we can see that if you advance their scouting progress to 25 percent to reveal their secondary positions then you're able to find out if they have the skills to pay the bills and become a two-way player also there is a rare chance in mlb 24 that these two-way prospects that can now be generated can also develop into a generational talent as either a pitcher or a hitter and thinking of Shohei Otani, they said, and perhaps if lightning strikes, you may find a two-way prospect who's a generational talent on both sides. So just like Shohei, a pitcher and a hitter. So there's a chance they did said if lightning strikes, so that, so that kind of sounds like it's probably not going to be a very high chance. But it sounds like there is a chance with the addition of prospects being able to be generated as two-way players, there's a very rare chance that they could become as good or have the potential to be as good as Shohei Otani as both a pitcher and a hitter. And in the comments, I'm curious to see maybe who you're hoping to see from the NL East, from the NL West, for those Team Affinity 89 overalls, the Chapter 1 Team Affinity guys. How do you feel about the NL Central? I really don't know if I like seeing Jack Flaherty. I think I would have preferred somebody who's actually on the team. Maybe Reds fans feel the same way, but Joey Votto was with the Reds for a long, long time and he's just now not being on the reds for the 24 season but i'm thinking tomorrow's video will probably be going over whatever they talk about whatever they reveal in that live content feature premiere and then after that all the videos should be actually playing and will be the show 24 